Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I organize all my music and how I use smart playlists on iTunes and also inside Rekordbox as well. I'm going to show you how I set them up in iTunes. This will also help with some ideas of your folders as well for inside Rekordbox. So let's jump into it. Before we do that, just remember to subscribe to the video to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm going to be dropping these every Monday from now on. Okay, let's get into this video. Welcome to this first video um, to do with iTunes and managing your music. I'm pretty sure you all know how to buy music. I don't need to show you how to do that. <laughs> what I am going to show you, though, is how you can create smart playlists. Uh, this is a great way for managing your music. Um, you'll be able to see here, I'll just quickly show you um, how I sort my music out. So I always give my my uh, tracks their own genre, loads of different options, but one of them is Glitterbox. So this is a, a big style of music that I play a lot at my parties. So I have three different areas for Glitterbox. I have Glitterbox Early, which is the slower stuff. Glitterbox Club, which is what you would expect to play in the club room at High in Ibiza, for those of you that have been there. So this is stuff that's kind of like classic house, but not necessarily going to take the roof off then the glitter box main room is the stuff that will take the roof off that is the the big room glitter box disco full-on you know absolute classic bangers um, and i rate them three two and one stars so glitter box early has one star glitter box club has two stars and glitter box main room has three stars okay so that's how i put my music into genres but another thing is to have smart playlists. So if you look down the side here, you can see all of my smart playlists. And then if we open them, Glitterbox, you've then got the, the different sections of that. So this one's Glitterbox uh, Classics Club, Glitterbox Classics Early, Glitterbox Classics Main Room. Then just the normal Club, Early and Main Room. So I've split them between the two different genres because... The classic big room stuff is the stuff that I would play a lot at big parties. So I want to be able to access it as quickly as possible. So I'm going to show you now how you would create a smart playlist. So we go to the top of the screen here, click on File, New, and we want to create a new smart playlist. So what we want this to be is anything by Michael Gray. So we want the artist to contain Michael Gray leave this here limit to 25 items and stuff you don't want that so you want as many as possible leave those all as they are and then just click OK so what that now does is if you look down here we'll have a new smart playlist down here Michael Gray and this then gives you all of the Michael Gray remixes and tracks that I have in my collection it's just a really nice way of, of sorting out your music. And then what you do is when you buy new music, you automatically, so every single time when you go to your songs, when you buy any new music, you create this straight away. So what that happens is as soon as you buy a track with Michael Gray in the name, it'll automatically go into this folder. So you don't have to keep dragging things in and out of folders. It's a real great, quick way of uh, organizing your music and really easy you can then sort out a folder for it so file new playlist folder and we could call it and then there's the folder there and then we can just drag that inside of there so there's our smart playlist inside of michael gray and that's pretty much how you organize all your music so i suggest you do that with everything obviously i've got over ten thousand tracks so it's important that i have them all sorted out into the genres properly and then i can just copy these folders over into record box so they're ready to go for when i'm djing out so let me just quickly show you how the other playlist works so let's open the defected one uh, just so you can see exactly what it is that you have to put in so if we click on edit rules this will show you what's in there so instead of artist you select genre and you select genre is then this one is defected club so you just type that in and then all of your defected club tracks will be on there 
Same thing with defected early. You can see it's on there. The genre is defected early. So it's really important that you initially label everything correctly. Um, that way it's all in your style. Only you know this, you know, this is how this works. There's thousands of DJs all over the world that do this completely different. This is my way. And I think it's a really good way. I know uh, Roger Sanchez does something similar to this as well. He's got a great video on YouTube. Go check that out. Uh, but yeah, this is how I do it. Um, and it really does help me find music much faster than ever before. Okay, there we go. I hope you learned something from that video. And like I said at the beginning, you can take what you've learned from this system in iTunes over to Rekordbox and do something similar in there. And in my other video, I talk about that as well. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video.